Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today I have a candle haul for you. So I did participate in the $13.95 sale, plus I had a 20% off coupon, and I had just a bunch of Christmas gift cards burning a hole in my pocket. So I went ahead and picked up 14 candles, and then I had to wait to film this video because uh, sadly four came damaged, but I had the nicest experience with the customer service representative. She was recommending scents to me and we got on to how I make videos and um she just and how I come into teaching and she was just like the sweetest so I always love opportunities like that to speak to new people that's why I love talking with you all um but that I waited for a couple days for those to get here so now I can share with you everything that I was um able to pick up for that sale I have not purchased candles since candle day which this is the longest probably since the beginning of 2020 and all of that, that I have gone without buying candles. Then it was just because of like the unknown and what was going on. But now I've just been really enjoying my collection. Um, I've done a pretty decent declutter and I set aside some to burn and I've rearranged this and now I definitely um, have some space in here. And so I was like feeling like it was time to try some new scents. Now, not all of these are new scents to me. But either the packaging got me or, I, you know, I kind of like to have one of each one. Um, but there are quite a few new scents in here that I wanted to go over with you all. So we'll start with the Easter candles. I did go ahead and grab a Somebody Loves You Sweet Carrot Cake. I think the packaging this year is super cute. And I think that it's nice that they kind of balance going from like cartoonish stuff to like realistic pretty photos because again we all have different decorative styles but yeah it's a wraparound sticker with lots of florals super cute for easter and the bunny lid this year is super cute as well um this is sweet cream cheese frosting fluffy carrot cake cinnamon spice we all know what this is and it smells so great it just it really gives you that like cinnamon spice right away but i also pick up a quite a big like dollop of that cream cheese frosting and it just smells fresh like you're kind of sticking your nose into a bakery cabinet trying to pick out something so I am excited to have this one and I have one left from the last year that well actually I have one right here I wasn't I forgot that they came out the three week last year I do have one and I have one from the year before so I think it's more just like the different variations of packaging but I do love to burn that one in both the springtime as well as the fall um, the other one I grabbed just because again, packaging so cute is the Tutti Fruity Candy. Now also, not that I'm buying for packaging, but I do enjoy this scent and I have kind of all the other variations. I really enjoy the colors and aesthetic of Easter. So pastels and the pinks are just really cute. Um, so here's that sticker for this one, the same bunny lid, and this is sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. And it's very close to kind of like a pixie stick scent, um, you know, a kind of champagne toast with a little bit more of a berry presence, but I enjoy this scent quite a bit. So I wanted to pick up one of each of those at least. You now if they have another great sale and I have another great coupon, I'm still holding on to a little bit of gift card. So I may have more in the future, but a couple other repackaged scents, but again, packaging pink watermelon because pink watermelon, sweet red mango, those are my favorite scents um, of all time. And so this is Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugared Cherry Blossom, and Lime Zest. And it just smells just as good and amazing as it did before. And I really like this pink jar. So I just thought that would look super cute on my shelf until I'm ready to burn it. But yeah, we already know this one. And again, nothing new, but I like tried and true scents. Um, you know, as much as I like trying new scents, I like to try things I already know I love. Another one that is new that I wanted to pick up was Radiant Sky. I heard really good things. I can't remember if it was Kimball, um, maybe Sneeko. We're just talking about the scent notes in the throw on this one. Rays of Sunshine, Golden Mango, Juicy Lychee, and then Natural Essential Oil. Right away, you pick up that mango. And it does smell quite a bit different from the Sunny Tropical Mango we got for Sass. This is very sweet on cold. Um, I'm hoping it does... The same on burn because I love mango scents like the Mango Lagoon that just came out in Body Care. That's really candied and sweet. This one um, kind of seems like it go either way. So sometimes it gets sour and I don't know that I love that. But this jar was really cute. I love that tie-dye packaging and it's super strong just with the lid off. So I'm imagining that it is going to be strong either way on burn. So I did pick up Radiant Sky and I really like that one so far. Okay, I am... I guess another cold. Another thing hit me. Um, we've had some crazy weather here last week. And so, yeah, I just, I feel like I either got a bug or 
a little run down, but if you hear it in my voice, I'm perfectly fine. I just kind of sound a little nasally, but I wanted this one so much, Coco Paradise. I'm really loving the body care. This jar is really cute. It's just very like simple, but like it does look elegant to me. Like it looks like something I would put on a nice coffee table with a book or something. Um, the notes are salted coconut manoi, sugared neroli, and bronze sandalwood. And I just, I can't get over it, but how perfumed this candle is, yet definitely captures that like beach salty skin type of scent. Um, so I just feel like this, I know I've been compared to a few perfumes, colognes, and I bet you they are spot on. I don't have that knowledge, but this smells so good on cold. I can't imagine it's not going to be good burning. And then a few of the neutrals collections got me and I actually wanted more, but I wanted to smell the other ones. The reviews on these three so far, um, cause I haven't actually been to store to smell all the new, um, sounded like things I'd either already had or would really enjoy. So the first one I did go ahead and grab one vanilla and musk, and this has notes of whipped vanilla, soft cedar wood, and suede musk. And this is compared to marshmallow musk, which I did have, um, a few years ago, I want to say 2017, 2016, somewhere in there. Um, really sweet with a perfume and it kind of reminds me of like a Jovan Musk perfume. So like an inspired by Musk, like, um, I'm not even sure if that's like a thing, but I think it's right. But I just know like that's something my aunt used to wear quite a bit or like a purse perfume you would spray to like make your purse kind of smell more authentic, but it's not. But that vanilla in here is really nice and sweet. Kind of smells like a marshmallow. So I really like it. I wonder what that's going to do burning. Now I've heard, I only grabbed one because I've heard so far that this is quite light and gets a little dirty. So we'll just see. And most of these, I did grab one, um, but we'll see what happens in the future. And then the next one was the Yuzu and white pineapple. I was intrigued by this. Um, I actually don't know what white pineapple is supposed to be. I'm assuming it's a couple of these notes together. So it has yuzu citrus, tropical pineapple, and fresh star fruit. So maybe the white pineapple is the star fruit mixed with just regular pineapple. I just, I just recently, like last year, found out that pink pineapple was a thing, but this smells so good. This really is capturing fresh getaway mixed with pink pineapple sunrise to me. Like that's what I'm getting when I smell this one. Maybe someone else has already compared that, but it does smell nice and sweet, but it's nice. It's got a really nice balance with the citrus. So it's not just sweet pineapple. There's definitely more in here. And I like that a lot, a lot more than I thought I would for sure. And then this one I absolutely had to get, and I will probably back this up. I just wanted to try one. This is pink lavender and espresso, and the notes are rich pink lavender, caramel espresso bean, and smooth vanilla. I love anything that even claims to be a coffee candle, but this one really is nice. This is definitely like whipped coffee mixed with lavender marshmallow, which I'm already a fan of both. Um, I wouldn't say this is anything like Paris Cafe. The, the coffee notes present, but it's not strong. Um, so I don't think it's going to overpower the lavender marshmallow or the pink lavender, I'm sorry, in this candle, but you could probably get this one on its own by burning two candles like lavender marshmallow, which I have right here with a coffee scented candle of your choice. Even caramel brew latte would probably give you this. So that might be why at first everybody was into it, but it's kind of died down because it definitely is one that you can make yourself. And so We'll see. I wanted one though. I've heard a lot of people review that and love it. Down to the last few. I wanted to get my hands on a golden honeycomb. Um, I just love my sweet scents, my gourmand scents, fruity. This has notes of savory honey, cozy vanilla, and warm butterscotch. And I just wanted to kind of see what it was going to do. Um, I like salted butterscotch and scents like that. Um, they had like a butterscotch toffee once upon a time that I really loved. So I never know, you know, cause that's kind of how we find out is basically just like putting our noses on it to see if it gives us a memory. But I didn't know if this was something we already had or if it was, um, sorry, this is nap hair. I took another Sunday nap. Um, but I wanted to know if this was something we already had and just had a new name, but I like it. And I really love the honey. In there it's definitely present so it's not just like butterscotch caramely scented i'm really picking up that honey so this might be another one i want to get another of in the future but i am trying to be slow and good instead of just grab three and then have regret kind of want to return not want to deal with the policy and all of that this one got me because of packaging because we know this collection came out and they were all since we've already had 
I only have about a hat, well, I guess like three quarters burned of a springtime in Paris. So I don't have a ton in my collection, but I love anything Paris themed. Um, so I had to get this one. I saw it and I, I knew at some point I wanted to get this. And I remember last year the scent kind of blew through the shelves really quickly and maybe they just didn't make that many, but I was like, I'm not going to miss out. So in this order, I really did want to get another springtime in Paris. This is notes of soft peach, lotus blossom, fresh bergamot, and natural essential oils. And not on cold directly, but like as I'm smelling this candle more and more, I just get this like 90s apple shampoo. And I'm always going to say that. Now, yes, I do get a watery floral and um, I don't get any peach, but there's like a nice sweetness. So there's probably some kind of fruit going on in here. But really what I get is like Herbal Essences 1990. My grandma had nine of them in the tub. And so you just, everyone smelled like that after you got out of the shower. And so um, I like this. I just, I know that for this purposes of like favorite scent ever, I loved the color and the packaging. And when I looked at the other scents that they offered in this collection, this was the one that I really wanted to back up. The other ones were just okay. But I did think that whole collection, I still want the Sunset in Maui, but I think for the most part that collection just came out at a time where I wasn't buying and so now we've got new and I've already forgotten about it. And that's what happens when you wait just a little bit. Okay, so these candles, story time. So I did get uh, a couple candles came broken and so I had ordered two of the or no, I'm sorry, three of the blueberry marshmallow bar because that was the one I just like from candle day wanted to find. And then once they brought it out to my store, they were always $26.95 or $26.50, but it was $26.95. And the third one I got came without two wicks. So it had one wick. So I decided to chop that up. I froze it, took it out of the jar, chopped it up and just kind of made some wax cubes out of it. So they'll, I mean, that when they replace it, they'd never tell me to return it. So I do still have two of these. So I have one, two here. Um, and this smells really, really good. This is sugared blueberry, sweet vanilla and toasted marshmallow. And I like this a lot. It is not as sweet as sugared blueberry, but it does not have the pie crust flakiness of blueberry pie. So it's definitely on its own. Um, I will say all I really do get is a sweetness of blueberry with some vanilla. So possibly toasted marshmallow. I wonder as it burns, if I'm going to love it even more, would have loved to this, for them to have made this a blueberry lemon bar. That would have been really good. I think this would have been pretty much like fruity pebbles, but super strong. And I think that would have been a hit, but maybe they've already done something like that. This is just kind of like a nice blueberry vanilla. So I like it, but I think I would have liked to have just one more scent note. It's kind of, the vanilla is just not giving too terribly much on cold, but I do really love blueberry candles. I pretty much pick up all the blueberry candles I can get from Beth and Bedrick's. And when I called on the wicks, they did not have it to replace. So I still used it though for wax melting purposes, just didn't have a wick to light. So um, what they did was send me a second of these. So I did order one among the clouds and then they sent me a second one to replace for the blueberry marshmallow bar. So this scent came out first for the signature collection this year at Bath and Body Works. And I mean, we already know what this is, right? This is basically cotton candy clouds, all of that, but packaging is stunning. I love that lid so much. The notes are wild berry skies and vanilla clouds. Um, I tried the body care and it's okay. This is nothing exciting or new, but they did a really nice job. It came out at the right time of year and I knew I wanted one for my collection, kind of like Coco Paradise. Um, so when she couldn't replace the other candle, I said, okay, just send me two or send me one and that will replace it. I don't like to mess with anything else. Like, um, you know, I already kind of knew which scents I wanted. And so I went ahead with the second one of these. And I think it was just packaging because honestly, you know, I would have probably went with one of these other scents if I were thinking, but um, this is really nice. Love the packaging so much. It's very, very, very pretty. And um, that's what I picked up so far. Now, there were more that I wanted, but you can only use two gift cards in a single transaction. So once I added two gift cards, I kind of didn't want to spend so much out of pocket and I just knew I couldn't go to store to just use them all at once. So that's okay. I figured, all right, get a few and then you can do some more in a little bit. But um, let me know down below, did you guys participate in the sale? 
what new candles have you been coming across lately since the beginning of 2023, um, since I haven't shopped since Candle Day, that I might be missing out on since I haven't been shopping as regular as I was before because I don't want to miss any. I love to add things to my wish list. We talk about that all the time. And um, yeah, just let me know if you guys participated in that sale. These candles came out to about $11.16. So I did not think that was bad. You know, we're just going to have to wait for that $10 price point to probably be a once in a while instead of like all the time like we were getting used to. And that's the way it is right now. So I'm really happy with everything on cold. None of these are disappointing. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know if I can, uh, I'll try to do a couple of, um, current burn reviews or at least put these into post burn reviews sooner than later in case you're interested in any of these scents. But I do have another video I'm going to make for you today on some fun finds I found for the home and for my classroom. I just wanted to share with you guys before I took them into school and we don't even know if they're going to come out alive because that's just how things go when you take them into my classroom. But, um, I thought that that would be kind of a new interesting thing I could do every once in a while. I love these products, but I do buy other things and I want to share them with you as well. So hopefully you stay tuned for that and I will be making some more videos pretty soon. We're almost on spring break, which I'm pretty excited about. So you should see me a little bit more when that comes around and I'll maybe get to the collection videos for you then. Uh, just so they take a long time to film, but I really do want to make them for you guys. So I hope you're doing great and I will see you in a video very soon. Take care. Bye.